Mr. Game! Mr. Game! Mr. Game! What's your name? I'm a Kamen Rider. What's up, everybody? It's the Quarter Guy, and, uh... <laughs> if you recall, last week, I talked about how my online friend, Chris Taylor, at Spooky World Twitter, Twitter was uh, bedridden with terminal cancer and was expected at July to have three to six months to live. And uh, I talked about the campaign that my, fr my friends and I had launched to uh, tell Nintendo of Canada to give him the chance to play Smash before he passed on in case he didn't make it to the game's launch. Well, I told you about how the whole thing spread to prominent gaming YouTubers and even gaming media. As it turns out, this story has a happy ending. This past Friday, Nintendo of Canada sent representatives over to Chris's house with a demo of the, Sma of the E3 demo of Smash Brothers Ultimate and gave Chris and his friends the chance to play the game. Seeing this news just it made me almost cry. It was just such a heartwarming ending to such a a campaign like this. It just it just warms my heart to see Nintendo go out of their way to uh, give a dying fan their last wish. And the story got covered on various gaming sites and even got to a trending Twitter story. So, I just want to thank everyone who helped make this happen. I wanted to thank my friend, my friends Eddie Noman and Alex Roshan for uh, helping to get the uh, campaigns, campaign going. Everyone who sent their support, their good wishes, and their, and their hopes to see this dying wish fulfilled. And most importantly, I want to thank Nintendo of Canada for taking the time to make this happen. It's you, you can say a lot of crap about Nintendo, and some of it I actually agree with. It's granted, the uh, the online service needs work, but at least you cannot say that they're heartless. Not after this. It's just thank you, Nintendo of Canada, for giving him this chance. <sighs> Unfortunately, not all the news was good this past week. Turns out the same day, Telltale Studios, best known for its essentially choose-your-own-adventure choose games, such as the, uh, the Batman game, Back to the Future game, Tales from the Borderlands, and most specifically The Walking Dead, the studio is going through a going through a studio closure, and <sighs> only 25 people are left. This is sad news for the gaming industry, even though I haven't actually played a Telltale game myself, but a lot of their projects are cancelled, and it, it's said that the, the Walking Dead will not be able to finish its final season, which is a real shame. Especially since so many people are losing their jobs. I, I, I wish only the best for the people who lost their jobs from the Telltale closure, and I hope they find work elsewhere in an industry that hopefully will learn from what's been going on with them. Anyways... Anyways, some updates. I am nearing completion of the editing of Top 10 Fuck Yeah! video game themes. Expect that sometime this week with the Twitch premiere first, followed by the uh, full release on YouTube the following day. Hopefully I'll be able to finish Castlevania Lords of Shadow in time to start by the end of, uh, by the end of September to start doing my review of it. And for my question of the week, what's your take on the Telltale Games closure? As always, send me your favorite comments, and I'll answer, and I'll show my favorites in the in the next episode. I don't have any comments to show from last week because there was no really no question. It was just all you wonderful people giving Chris your well wishes.
With that, time for the fourth wall mailbag. As always, look for the community post and post your questions there, and I'll answer my favorites in the next episode. First question this week comes from the Chainsaw Toaster, who asks, What is your favorite armor in the Mega Man X series? Well, excluding the obvious ultimate armor and the neutral armor for X8, I would have to say it's the fourth armor from Mega Man X4. I like the uh, various features that it added, particularly for the buster part and the head part. For the Buster, you had two different options. You could have, you could store up four smaller, powerful charge shots, or you could have the big, big charge shot with the uh, plasma ball that gets left behind. But most importantly is the head part. My favorite part of that armor is the head part because it gives you unlimited uncharged uses of these of the Maverick weapons, which really opens up a lot of options. Special mention goes to the Shadow Armor from X6 and the uh, Falcon Armor from X5, which got neutered in X6. YouTuber Harada Orie asks, Which Tails character, other than Lloyd Irving, do you think has a better chance of making it into Smash Ultimate? That's a pretty obvious answer. That would be Yuri Lowell from Tales of Vesperia, Mainly because of the fact that Vesperia Definitive Edition is coming to the Switch, and that version of the game is celebrating the game's 10th anniversary. I honestly think that a lot of Tails characters would be able to fit in Smash, but given the current circumstances, I think Yuri has the best shot. Maybe even more so than Lloyd at this point. Granted, it was Lloyd who had the Mii Fighter costume, and uh, we've had a couple Mii Fighter costumes actually being upgraded to full-on Smash characters. But, uh, I guess we'll see either way. YouTuber Saki Suzura asks, Since the Samurai Showdown franchise is reviving, which other SNK games should get revived as well? I've got three in mind. The first one, and probably the most obvious, is the Metal Slug franchise. I mean, a game like Metal Slug doesn't have to be elaborate, doesn't have to be the kind of thing you would sell for, like, 50, 60 bucks. It's probably, uh... It's probably best as a middle-shelf title, but still, it would be a great middle-shelf title if they gave it the proper care. I mean, especially considering the possibility for both local and online co-op. I mean, that's been, a, that's been a part of the Metal Slug franchise since the beginning with its running gun action. The second... We had been here, it's like, there was the whole thing about a sequel to Garo, Mark of the Wolves, and that's definitely something I would like to see. And I honestly hope it happens. I'd like to see a continuation of Rock Howard's story. And the third, and this is an odd one here, Twinkle Star Sprites. I mean, it did get a PlayStation 2 sequel, but it was only in Japan. And But I do like the idea of a, a head-to-head -head shmup with cute graphics, so... That's something I honestly would like to see. Probably not going to happen ever, but... Eh. Last question this week comes from Douglas Stewart, who asks, So, are you happy JoJo Part 5 is finally coming out? Yes, 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 yes! Yes!